Studio Canal are releasing The Bells Go Down on Blu-ray in a brand new 4K restoration on the 24th of June. This release is also something of a double bill. More on that later. Before making their famous comedies, Eating Studios tried their hand at all kinds of movies, including this wartime drama from 1943. The film concerns a motley crew, including a young chap on the doll, a petty thief, and an East End scallywag, played by music hall comedian Tommy Trinder, who all decide to join the London Auxiliary Fire Service. During the first half of the movie, you miss the sure sense of comedy and cast of familiar faces that typify later eating films. Tommy Trinder is a bit too mannered for the silver screen, and James Mason is stiff and awkward as the professional fireman in charge of licking the new recruits into shape. However, the second half of the movie is a different matter. Recreating the 1940 Blitz, director Basil Dearden orchestrates one compelling firefighting scene after another. The special effects are extremely convincing for the time. By the looks of it, this had to have been one of the most expensive movies Ealing Studios ever made. The Bells Go Down has its flaws, but you're inclined to overlook them because the topic it deals with is so compelling. This new 4K restoration is very sharp indeed. The picture still looks occasionally snowy in some places, but the nighttime scenes of the Blitz have plenty of depth and contrast. This disc comes with several extras, including a whole other film. Humphrey Jennings, Fires Were Started. Made in the same year as The Bells Go Down, this is a drama documentary, recreating the events of a day and a night during the 1940 Blitz, using real-life firefighters as actors. Jennings was one of the great pioneers of documentary making, and this film is remarkably fresh, immediate and assured, and it doesn't hurt that these real-life heroes look and sound like film stars. This transfer still bears quite a few scratches, but other than that it looks lovely. If you're putting together a collection of vintage British war movies, this release from Stu Canal would sit very well with the likes of A Point With Venus and Sink the Bismarck.